Delta Tower, Air Club 13, intersection Juliet, ready for departure, runway 1, VFR for the north training area. Air Club 13, Eglin Tower, runway 1 at Juliet, wind 040 at 12, cleared for takeoff. Air Club 13, clear for takeoff, 1 at Juliet. Okay, ready? Yep, let's go. Airspeed's alive. Climbing out at 76. Alright, why don't you go underneath the foggles? Alright, we're in the clouds already. Yep, in the clouds already. And climb at uh, 76 knots to the best of your ability to 1100 feet. And turn uh, right heading of uh, 060, you're clear right. Clear right, going to right, going to right three, zero, zero, six, zero. Zero, overhead pattern altitude, 1,600. Cool. Approach, or do you want to shoot the approach from uh, Cobra? All right, let's proceed. Heading 360. Do you have GPS? We do. And intercept the 100 degree radial outbound from the Crestview VOR. Uh, eastbound Baron, VFR 3500. Okay. So we've ID'd and, and uh, we're monitoring because we got the NAF flags, right? Right. And we can use both of these to do that. 100. We're not doing an ILS, so we don't care about the device. So we're just going to go up here, hitting 360, until we get within about a half a mile and, and we're going to turn on to the 100 degree outbound. 100 degree radial outbound. Now are we going to get positive sensing on the CDI? <clears throat> positive sensing? Yeah. Meaning that that if we have to correct left, it'll correct left, or if we have to correct w right, it'll correct right. But but are we going to get positive sensing or reverse sensing? Charlie Charlie Foxtrot, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Army two four four. Okay, well. Um, two eight zero. Approach Delta. Inbound. To the Crestview VOR. Okay, we can lead turn a little bit and start our turn to the right. To the right. You're clear right. And we're going to track outbound on the 100. Charlie Foxtrot, Roger. No runway information available for the Bob 6 airport. Uh, do you have the weather there? You can set the 100 on your heading just so you have something to look at. You need a Tallahassee. You're going to land at Bob Six and then uh, come back airborne and pick that flight. Too much bullshit on radio. System. Yep. Okay. Seven Ray Charlie Fox Shot, Roger. What I'm trying to show you is that if you have a from and you have the outbound heading, you're going to get correct sensing. If you have the two, but you have the outbound heading, even though you have the inbound radio, you're gonna you're gonna get reverse sensing. You orbiting in that See what's happening? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not reaching that radio. Say the reason for that orbit and the position that you're in. Yeah. Now see what happens when you correct over to about one one zero or one two zero, 
and you get you get this centered up, it's going to center this up. Cobra, just to maintain 3,000. Tommy, uh, 033 is leaving 4,000 for 3,000 direct Cobra. Army 478, change to advisor frequency. There you go. Now you can go back to your, Second almost back to your 100 heading. And track outbound. Now, look down here. This is your track. You want to track outbound on the 100. So you really need to fly about 091 or so to get that track. So let's come over to 091, and what we'll do is we'll bug it. Charlie Fox, traffic 12 to 1 o'clock, 4 miles inbound to Bob Sykes, and the VRL for approach is at 860, descending out of 1,400. If able, report that traffic in sight. And now we're tracking 100 because we got that wind. 1310 heading 220 back to free approach. See what I mean? 220. Got it. And that's, the, that's, even though you can't use this for IFR, you could use it for situational awareness, right? Right. Okay. So you can pay, look down here just a little bit and then correct your track, right? Because what we're worried about on the, on the radio is the track, right? Not necessarily the heading. Right. It's the wanna, track. Because the track isn't going to change due to wind. Yeah. All right. That's freaking bumpy today. Have you done uh, DME arcs? Uh, he had me do a couple, yeah. Okay. To, view, to crest view. Let's uh, intercept the 16 DME arc in arc north. Okay. You want to clear left? Clear. That's right. You want to lead it by about three-tenths of a mile or so.